Hanho Group is a prominent company, known for being powerful and influential. As the story unfolds, we are introduced to one of its partners, Zhen Pan Su, a prominent mafia figure in the city, who is not only respected for his business skills, but also feared for being ruthless. He joins his wife who is having breakfast, and she expresses frustration because her father is reluctant to give her the gallery she desires. He bids her farewell and heads to his office. There, he learns from Mr. Ko that all tendons in the district mall he had purchased have vacated, except for the carpenter shop that refuses to leave. Pansu becomes furious and summons Man Chul, instructing him to use force to evict King Jong Ki, the owner of the carpenter shop, from the mall. Man Chul follows the instructions, reaches the King Jong Ki, and forces him to sign the agreement. Later, Pansu dines at a restaurant where he encounters Mr. Yang, his rival, leading to a conversation full of passive aggressive exchanges. The following day, Pansu has launched at a noodle shop where high school student King Dong Yun is also dining. Dong Yun receives a call and informs the caller that he will meet them. When Dong Yun tries to pay for his meal, he realizes he has lost his wallet. The restaurant owner asks Pan Su to cover Dong Yun's meal, and he reluctantly agrees. After thanking Pan Su, Dong Yun promptly leaves. The restaurant owner promises to reward Pan Su with a gift for his kindness. After returning to his school, Dong Yun is seen on the roof attempting to retrieve a shoe stuck on the antenna. He suddenly loses his balance and falls on Pan Su, who is standing on the road with his car. Both are injured and taken to the hospital. Upon waking up, Pan Su is confused to find everyone treating him like a child, despite being a grown man. He gets up and walks out of his hospital room, only to discover his own body in the another room. King Jong Ki, Dong Hyun's father, arrives at the hospital, visibly worried, and inquires about his son's condition. Pan Su looks in the mirror and realizes he has swapped bodies with Dong Hyun. The doctor informs King Jong Ki that his son has lost his memory due to the incident. Pan Su recalls meeting Dong Hyun's at the noodle shop and paying for his meal, as well as the old lady promising him a reward. He returns to the noodle shop but finds it has been out of business for a long time. On the other hand, Mr. Yang is delighted to hear about Pan Su's accident and coma. Later, Pan Su visits his home and finds his wife upset and crying over a broken necklace. When she sees him in her room, she becomes frightened and demands that he leave. Despite trying to convince her that he is Pan Su, she doesn't believe him and calls the police. Two officers arrive and arrest Pan Su. Later, Pan Su goes to the hospital and tries jumping on his actual body so he can return to it but fails. Man Chu arrives and scolds him for trying to jump over Pan Su's body. Pan Su leaves the hospital and King Jong Ki takes him home since he has the body of Dong Yun. King Jong Ki prepares a large amount of food for him which are Dong Yun's favorites. Pan Su initially refuses, claiming the food is too much and that he doesn't eat instant or junk food. However, after taking a single bite, he quickly consumes all the food on the table. The next day, King Jong Ki accompanies Pan Su to school, where Jong Ki informs the principal that the other students may have bullied his son, leading to his fall from the roof. The principal, however, reveals that Dong Hyun was not bullied and he was already given a statement to the police. Pan Su attends class but is met with disdain from his classmates. During lunch, he witnesses his classmates bullying a girl named Oh Hyun Jung. Unable to tolerate this, Pan Su intervenes and demands they stop. They mock him, and one of the bullies challenges him to a fight after school. After school, the bully is surprised to find a different Don Yoon who defeats him and his friends. Later, Pan Su comes across the bullies and harassing another student in the restroom and intervenes, knocking them down and taking one of their phones. He checks the phone at home and discovers a video of them bullying Don Yoon. The next day, Pan Su confronts the bullies and returns the phone, warning them that he has a copy of the bullying video and will report them to the police if they attempt to bully him again. In the following scene, Mr. Yang catches Pan Su's wife, Mr. Jang, with Mr. Ko in the parking lot and ridicules her for having an affair. He reveals that he has taken photos of them together and threatens to send them to Chairman Han, who is Mrs. Jang father and the boss of both Pan Su and Mr. Yang. However, he offers not to expose her affair to her father if she agrees to do something for him. Meanwhile, Pan Su visits the hospital and finds Man Chu dozing while guarding his actual body. Man Chu is surprised when Pan Su reveals details about his life and past crimes. Initially skeptical, Man Chu eventually believes Pan Su's claim that he is now in Dong Yun's body. 
They go to have lunch, and Pansu's questions why Manchu is guarding his body at the hospital without being instructed to do so. Manchu explains that he heard rumors of Mr. Yang wanting Pansu dead to take over his position. The next day, as Hyun Jung runs home from school, she accidentally collides with Pansu, causing her teddy bear to fall. Pansu picks it up and chases after her to return it. While taken to Hyun Jung on the street, her mother, Mi Soon, calls for her. Pansu is surprised to see Mi Soon, his high school girlfriend and first First love whom she left. When he addresses her by her first name, Mi Soon becomes angry and scolds him for being disrespectful. Pan Su runs away immediately, and in a flashback, he remembers that time together in his youth. At the hospital, Manchu clips hair from Pan Su's actual body, while Pan Su pulls strands of hair of Hyun Jung's head at school for DNA testing. The test confirms Hyun Jung's as Pan Su's daughter, leaving him disheartened. The next day at school, some girls bully Hyun Jung by accusing her of stealing a lipstick. Pansu intervenes and stops the bullying. Later, Pansu asks Manchu to beat up the high school kids who bully Yu Jun, but Manchu refuses, not wanting to get involved with minors. He suggests Pansu speak directly with Hyu Jun instead. Pansu then goes to Mi Soon and tells her about Hyu Jun's bullying problem. Mi Soon becomes angry and is about to call Hyu Jun's teacher, but Pansu stops her. He informs her that the teachers are ignoring the matter, but he suggests enrolling Hyu Jun in a fitness center to become strong enough to defend herself. Meanwhile, Mrs. Jane goes to her father, Chairman Hang, and accuses her husband, Pan Su, of embezzling over 3 billion won from the company, presenting a transaction record as evidence. Pan Su later asks Man Chul for advice on building a better relationship with his daughter. Man Chul suggests that displaying affection towards his daughter could help them bond. He advises Pan Su to take care of his health, pointing out that his executive eating could lead to diabetes, which might kill him, before he can return to his original body. Hyun Jun begins their fitness training, and Pan Su joins her. After two months of rigorous exercises, Pan Su's bulky body transforms into a fit and athletic one, surprising all his schoolmates who became attracted to him. One day, after school, Pan Su visits Hyun Jun's house and sees her baby pictures. He feels sad for not being there to watch her grow up. He discreetly takes the pictures with his cell phone. Later that night, on his way home, Dong Yoon's father, Kim Jong Ki's, is stopped by four men, demanding the loan amount he owes them. Despite requesting more time, they start to beat him. Pansu arrives and tries to fight them off, but King Jong Ki shields him to prevent him from getting hurt. The men leave, giving King Jong Ki one week to return their money. Pansu attempts to help King Jong Ki stand up, but he is unable to as he is fainted and now he's unconscious. The next day, Manchu confronts the loan shark operators at their office, beats them up, and demands they cancel King Jong Ki's debt and stay away from him. Meanwhile, at the school cafeteria. When some girls try to bully Yung Jun, she fights back and knocks them down, surprising everyone. Later, Pan Su visits Mi Soon at her bar, where she warmly greets him. She offers him mackerel ramen, which he enjoys and suggests she added to the menu. However, she declines, revealing that the ramen reminds her of Yoon Jung's father, whom she regrets dating. A customer enters and orders a drink. While serving the customer, he pats Mi Soon's butt and teases her. This angers Pan Su, and he starts beating the man and his friend who tries to intervene. Mi Soon stomps Pan Su and asks who he is. He reveals that he is Pan Su, but in Dong Yoon's body. Initially skeptical, Mi Soon becomes convinced when he recounts intimate details about their relationship and how they first met. Pan Su then asks why she didn't tell him about her pregnancy when they were parted ways. Mi Soon becomes angry, accusing him of still being a gangster, and demands that he leaves. She remembers the breakup, where she asked Pan Su to quit his criminal activities. He refused and told her he was marrying his boss's daughter the next month. The next day at school, a boy invites Hu Jun to his birthday party, and she accepts. Meanwhile, Pan Su sees Mi Soon and tries to apologize, but she angrily rejects him. He chases after her and kisses her, but she responds with a hard slap before leaving. He follows and apologizes, but she remains unforgiving. Soon after, he receives a call informing him that Hyun Jun was invited to the birthday party only to be bullied. Upon hearing this, he rushes to her rescue, arriving just in time to see her being mistreated again. Enraged, he intervenes knocking down the bullies and taking her away. The following day, Manchu tries to see Pan Su in 
in the hospital, but is denied access on the chairman's orders that no one should be allowed into his hospital room. He meets Pen Su and informs him that everyone believes he embezzled 3 billion won, and his wife is also working with Mr. Yang to get rid of Pen Su. Pen Su requests Manchu to send a letter to his father-in-law, explaining his situation. As time passes, Hyun Jun develops feelings for Pen Su and confesses to him. However, he rejects her love and departs. Hyun Jun informs her mother that she asked Jung Hyun out, unaware that he has switched bodies with Pan Su. Her mother is shocked and pleads with her to not date him. After school, Mi Sung pulls Pan Su aside to talk. She tells him to leave her and Hyun Jun alone, and he is causing confusion, especially for her daughter, who just asked him out. Pan Su asks if there is anything he can do for her to forgive him, but she says there is nothing he can do and reminds him that he is a married man. Hyun Jun arrives and overhears their conversation. She is shocked to hear that her mother referred to Pan Su as a married man. When she asks what is going on between them, Pan Su tells her that he loves her mother. This revelation angers and disappoints Hyun Jun, and she runs away from them. Mr. Yang, waiting to ensure Pan Su's demise, goes to the hospital and finds him comatose. However, he miraculously wakes up, shocking Mr. Yang into a panic inducted blackout. Don Hyun, who is now in Pan Su's body, returns home and embraces King Don Ki, his father, who is confused and shocked to be hugged by a stranger. Pan Su then arrives and explains everything to King Don Ki in detail. Mr. Yang, having regained consciousness, calls Pan Su's wife and informs her that he can't find Pan Su. As he had already left the hospital by the time he woke up, she blames him for running their plan, but he shuts her up and is instructs her to get the money he had asked for. He assures her that his men will search for Pan Su. Pan Su and Don Hyun visit Mi Soon and lie to her by claiming they have switched bodies back. Don Hyun, in Pan Su's body, apologizes to Mi Soon, expressing that he never forget about her. Suddenly, Mr. Yang and his men arrive at Mi Soon's bar, intending to attack them. Pan Su instructs Don Hyun to take Mi Soon into the kitchen while he confronts the men alone. During the scuttle, they injure Pan Su by breaking a glass over his head, getting the advantage and capturing him. Mr. Yang puts a knife to Pan Su's neck, but Mi Soon emerges from the kitchen with a glass cylinder, threatening to burn the bar down with them aside, unless he releases Pan Su. Faced with her fierce determination, the men retreat in fear. Meanwhile, Pan Su's wife, who is also the chairman's daughter, visits her father. The chairman accuses her of comprising with Mr. Yang to betray her husband. He presents her with a letter that Pan Su wrote to him, detailing the conspiracy against him. He reveals Mr. Ko, her lover, who has been beaten up by his men, shocked and exposed, she realizes that she was being caught. Don Hyun, who is in Pan Su's body, enters the house, and the chairman asks for what he should do about the situation. Pan Su, listening in through the audio device, instructs Don Hyun to ask the chairman what he wants. The chairman then declares Pan Su the heir of Hano Group, informing his daughter that she would not inherit anything. Angered, she accuses Pan Su of having an affair and fathering a 17-year-old daughter. Shocked by this revelation, the chairman questions Pan Su about its truth. The audio device Don Hyun is using to hear Pan Su suddenly malfunctions, so he misses Pan Su's instruction to explain the misunderstanding to the chairman. Unable to hear Pan Su, Don Hyun confirms to the chairman that he does have a 17-year-old daughter. He explains that his ex-girlfriend gave birth to the daughter without his knowledge, and they had ended their relationship long ago. He then informs the chairman that he is relinquishing his claim as heir of the Han Ho group. Understanding his decision, his father-in-law allows him to leave. Don Hyun goes outside to meet Pan Su, expecting him to be angry. Surprisingly, Pan Su hugs him and expresses his gratitude. While they are hugging, Pan Su's wife sees them and in a fit of rage, speeds up her car to hit them. Pan Su pushes Don Hyun away to protect them and he himself is hit by the car. Pan Su, still trapped in Don Hyun's body, is rushed to the hospital. Mi Soon and Hyun Jong arrived at the hospital, where Pan Su tells Hyun Jung that he is her father. She becomes confused as he is still in Dun Yun's body. Pan Su apologizes to Hyun Jung for not being there for her throughout her childhood and not witnessing her to grow up. He then blacks out, and soon after, Don Hyun, still in the Pan Su's body, also faints. In the operating room, the old woman from the noodle shop, who Pan Su met before switching bodies with Dan Hyun's and Piers as a surgeon, and asks him if he likes the gift she gave him. 
She then administers anesthesia to put him to sleep. Six months later, Don Hyun now, back to his own body, returns to school and is celebrated by his friends for successfully having the bullies transfer to another school. Pansu, back to his own body, along with Mi Su and King Jong Ki, is shown running a restaurant together. Here, the movie ends. That'll be all for today's recap. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our own channel. Thanks for watching.